Hello, I'm Introducing and welcome back to Sea Skylines in the Green Canyon. So, uh, I wanted to put in a new industrial area and probably some more things, but first I should probably put in... I don't know, do we need a fire department? I think fire departments are luxuries, personally, you know. You don't need fire departments. It's all overrated. I'm going to buy a new area. Buy this area. Purchase, thank you. And the reason I'm purchasing this area, by the way, uh, if you can't remember from last time, is because there is a lovely area here, which is fertile, and we can put some uh, nice industrial there. It's going to be a farming industry. I think we have the ability to designate farming. Yeah, we do. Foggy Heights. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, right, so, to do this, we'll probably want to, I mean, you know, in future, we'll want to put a highway up there. For now, it's going to have to be a normal feeder road, which, of course, is going to result eventually in some horrible, horrible backup. Backup? Backlog? Either way, whatever it will be, it will be horrible. So, slip to steep, slip to steep. Uh, okay. There was a tiny bit I could do there. Any more? No. Hey, that sort of works. So it went to here. And then it went like that. Ah, that works very nicely. I thought I was going to have to do some sort of switch back and forth system. Uh, you know, like see on those uh, alpine roads, etc. Highly dangerous. Let's go to that. Alright. Now, I want to have a definite look at this uh, resource overview. Okay, so basically, I'm right on the edge of it. So, up there. And I've got to flip over to the other side of that train track. I mean, I can cross it. And all it means is that people will get slowed down the road slightly. I believe you can do a crossing. Yeah, there you can. We can do a crossing there. Hello. I like I like that that's in there. Like I found that kind of cool. That they've got those sort of uh, small details in. All right. Uh, we need to go up, across. Can I go across? I can go across. Right. Not enough money. Oh wow, that cost a lot of money. Oops. And we're still losing money. Oh, we're gaining money now. Seven bucks. But you know. Oh, now we're losing that. Buy. Okay, more money losing. More money. Buy more money. Come on, people need to move in. People need to realise this is a lovely place and they've got plenty of industry. Plenty of residential. Some commercial as well. We've got people moving in. We're actually still losing money though. Less money. Losing less money. Losing less money. If we just keep this, you know, keep this up, we'll eventually get there. There we go. Finally making money again. Ah. <sighs> That was 25 grand? Really? Okay. I guess we just got to wait and earn some more money. I mean, actually, we're fairly close to getting the next level. What's the next milestone? 1,000? Yeah. So we're almost there. And we'll uh, be able to accelerate our building progress as soon as we've got that. We've got a little bit of money, but you see, like, you know, I can't even build a road to there. It costs me, like, one and a bit grand. Hmm. Fine. We just keep polluting the environment for a little while longer. We're actually making reasonable bank now. Look at that. That is reasonable bank. I would consider that a perfectly acceptable amount of money. In fact, you know, we've got plenty of space for both, uh, you know, industrial. Even though we're not, don't want, we don't want to use that industrial. We want to use, you know, clean industrial. But uh, we've got plenty of space for both industrial and residential and commercial. So all we're doing is basically waiting. Um, yeah. Tiny town. High school. Decoration parks and rec. Sweet. We've got some money, which I'm not going to spend on the high school. I asked Congress for the funds, and they gave me the funds, and I spent them on the wrong thing. Please forgive me, Congress. Now, I don't people crossing the train track all the time, because that will uh, slow down everyone as soon as a train goes past, so... That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll go to here. There we go. Right. Now I just got to put in the load of tributary roads. Uh, effectively, yeah, I can call them tributary roads. That kind of works. Very good analogy, actually, because they just feed in. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I bet people have been calling them tributary roads for ages. I bet they you know, might even be called tributary roads properly. 
Oh well. And that's one shot, and that's going to bug me. <sighs> oh well. Uh, next. No, don't stretch. Good. Um, you sure you can build on that slope? <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is a designated place for you to build your home. and you, Well, not your home. It's going to be like your farm. I guess, you know, farms are one of the things that are probably okay with slopes. I mean, you know, the drainage will be a bit dodged, but... At least I don't need, you know, foundations on something that's not slopey. Because, you know, they kind of fail if they built here. And we'll build all the way to there. We've got, like, two grand left. I, I, I'm terrible, like, I always make these big grand designs in the early game when I really shouldn't. Because, yeah, not enough money. Um, I'm, I'm not the best of city planners. Just putting that out there. Can I take another loan? 60 grand. 10%. We're making money. We'll probably need it as soon as we run out of power, because actually... Yeah, we're pushing the power consumption. Yeah, sh sh sure, right? I'll grab it. I'll increase water. Uh, actually, I don't need to increase water. I'll increase power. And I'll do this. Right, I'll take the loan. Give me the loan, give me the loan, give me the loan. Take. Uh, power. Do 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 to destroy all you've got. I need a few hundred more people. And then I can make the advanced wind turbines. So I'm going to use uh, normal wind turbines just for now. Not for a long time. They're literally just to hold me over. That's not eight. It needs to be eight. Eight or bust. I'll need three because I am building another industrial area. So I've got to be aware that industrial does take, you know, some power to make. Boop, boop, boop. And next... Now, over here, kind of got a big road feeding this one. We don't really need a road quite this large. But whatevs. Alright, build to there. Back one. There we go. I don't think I'll even use this bottom area for now, right? I'll keep the little bit of cash I've got left. I could possibly even pay one of our loans off. I know we're paying a loan with a loan, which is always a terrible idea. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I like to live dangerously and all that. Alright, let's place that. And we'll do that as well. And then... District. Big district tool. Smaller district tall. Smallest district tall. Paint within the lines. It's like one of those, uh... Can you paint within the lines that all, like, colouring books you get for, like, toddlers and stuff. I was always terrible at those. Like, no joke. This is why my, uh, my painting skills in this game are quite so awful. Really? Are they two... They're two separate ones. God damn it. Try that again. Without the screwing up. Because the screwing up gets tiresome. Very quickly. Paint, 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 paint. Painting. Right. Summit Park. If you wouldn't mind. And I'm going to fill you in. Now the reason I did that like precise painting is because on the edge... I probably can't get any uh, arable land in there, so I want to be very careful because, you know, there's uh, no fertile land here. This is actually oil. Um, I can use that one. Uh, 
Yeah, and I have zoned it, which is correct. If I zoned it, you know, I'd have the same issues. They wouldn't be able to really do much with their uh, arableness. And I actually need to zone that. And make you farming. District. Uh, I definitely want you to be smoking ban. Smoke detector. I'm going to rename you. How do I rename you? Is it from district view? From here. There we go. I'm going to make you um, wood hood. Because there has to be wood in the hood. That sounded wrong. Water! And just a little bit more. And then power. Right. Power's the one thing that's always really annoying. Because, you know, later on, when you've got the neighbourhoods, you don't need these anymore. And they're just eyesores, but they're a pain in the ass to put in to begin with. Right. One. Two. We could put high school in, make people happy. I hear people like that sort of thing, you know, education. I mean, I don't know why they would. We could just afford it, wow. Just getting under the wire. Alright. Let's see if we get any farms in. Come on, farmers. I mean, I could de-zone this area, but I'd dive my, uh, my income. Not that my income's great. $4, minus 17, yeah, okay. The problem is we've almost filled up the uh, residential, and since the residentials fill up, I'm not going to be able to do much more. Commercial demand's pretty high. I mean, for instance, I could just take the industrial out of here, replace it with uh, the ability to have people stuff. Like uh, residential area, maybe commercial area there. And I make money again. I mean, we're making money now, just not that much. I could leave the simulation on for a while, but the problem is if I leave it on for a while, the likelihood of getting fires and then crazy fires and I have no fire department. Yeah, I don't fancy that one. We've got plenty of electricity available. Budget. Power needs more power. Water's a bit more like that. There we go, electricity availability. I can see it now on this screen. This is why I like this mod. Thank you. Could do more electricity. Go up to 85. Could go down a bit on the water. Sweet. Do we need any of these? Nah, we're fine. There we go, that's our first fi Oh. <laughs> our first fire. Nope, two fires and no way to really sort them. Sorry, your house is going to burn down. I'm making really good money now. That's the thing about budgets, right? I never used to touch them, but they really, really help you get that spare cash in. I never used to really pay attention to them at all. But they are really good. Oh, lots of crime. Yeah, so they've uh, altered the crime mechanic um, since I was first doing my, you know, starting cities. They're actually really tough now. You actually do need um, a police station. Like, wow! We really need a police station. Look at that number of... Criminals. What the? They're just having like a field day. They're like, yeah, no one's around. Well, the mice are away. The cats will play. And the mice in this analogy are cops. And the cats are robbers. That's kind of the wrong way around. But, you know, whatever. Hmm. Not convinced. Uh, low happiness. We could put some parks in. Might make people happier. But I'm lazy. Also, I'm strapped for cash. And I do need to uh, put, you know, fire pumps in. You should be demolishing that. There we go, demolished it. Cool. I might de zone this area. Force people moving up here. Because I want the commercial area. And maybe even more residential. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to take a hit while we de zone. New services sold off. I know there's new services. Make 
that residential. Override with a bit of commercial. Oh, I can't override. Go away, new services. No one cares. Apart from everyone who wants the new services. They're crazy. Uh, we'll actually increase the amount of uh, availability by using this area here. I might need to put down like a tiny bit of uh, power or water for that, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on that one. And while my money's about to start decreasing, I probably should fill in that. So I can go here. And extend water up to here. Right. Bye-bye. Please start building over here. Seriously, I went to a lot of effort. <gasps> Yay! Hello, farms. I've got to say, that grass does not look healthy. Power issues. The power's right there. Right here. Like, really? Right next to you. They're not very good at this, are they? We're still making money, though, which is a surprising thing. I thought I was going to dive there and just money was going to disappear. Boomtown! We got all, we got buses, we got transport, we got clover leaves, intersections, highways, advanced wind turbines, cemeteries. Awesome. You know, frankly, awesome. I'll put a cemetery in right now. That I could go there. I mean, strictly this would be best because it's the right width anyway. Yeah, I'll do that. Cemetery. Everyone's happy they've got cemetery. Uh, I'm definitely going to put the uh, the crime thing in because yeah, if people are a bit a bit concerned about the uh, rampant crime spree at the moment, can't say I fully blame them. They have got some basis to their uh, concerns. Let's also get a fire department in. This is how I play this game. I like I buy the wrong things at the first level, and then I'm constantly buying the thing later than I should be. Fire departments at this level, I should have bought them previously. Why do we have water issues? Oh, now we don't have a budget. Whoopsie. I'll increase the electricity availability a tiny bit as well. There we go. Boom. That should be plenty. Excellent. And we're making a good amount of money. I would say that's a very good amount of money at the early game. Like a grand. I, as soon as they say that, we kind of drop below a grand. Because, you know... Game likes to prove me wrong. But, you know... Oh, we're back up to 1.4 now. Bloody hell, and increasing. That's good money for the early game. Especially since we're going to go you know, fully clean. We're not fully clean right now. We don't have the recycling centre from the mod, if it is installed. But we'll see. This area here is going to start bucking up very quickly. I mean, look at it already. It's backing up uh, pretty heavily. I want to put in a motorway going all the way over here. Because, you know, at the moment we've only got this one bit. And then I want to put in a roundabout. So the question is, do I put a roundabout under the motorway and have the motorway flying? Or do I put a flying roundabout over the motorway? Honestly, flying, motorway, uh, fr flying roundabout over the motorway is probably the cheapest. Because it means you're not paying for the rest of the motorway to be a bridge. You're only paying for, like, the roundabout. So I'll probably do that. We'll need a lot of money to be able to do it. I'm just worried I don't want to get, you know, halfway and then have to stop. So I'm going to wait for a little bit more cash. But I think, you know, since we're waiting for more cash, maybe this is a good place to end the episode. And we won't, like, do any expansion stuff off camera. I'll just run it for another, like, half hour. Make a bit of cash. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Since that's pretty much all we're waiting for right now. Uh, right, so, this has been, uh, the Grand Green Canyon. It's looking pretty. I can't wait to start exploring the map of proper. Oh, I'm so looking forward to being able to put a dam. I love dams. Dams are one of my favourite things in this game. I can't wait to put a dam on. I'm going to put, like, a dam here and get all the power. I want all the power. And a dam, a dam across the entire big river. That would be amazing. Oh, it's going to be so good. But anyway, that's, uh, that's it. If you've liked today's episode, if you like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But, what are, what are issues? What are issues? I guess uh, we'll pump this up to a, uh, 100%. We'll uh, probably do the same as this. Until next time. 
Just remember one thing. And that's to stay shiny.